getting my warming materials. I did leave my gloves in the freaking, oh, oh my God, this freaking <laughs> leg. Jesus. It's going to be a good one. Oh. When is it in a good one? It's always a good one. It's when always you... a good one, bro. We out here, we chilling. You guys see the sun. It's nice. It's, it, it feels cold in the video. Hold on, let's let this airplane. We're right next to LaGuardia, so yeah. LaGuardia is very busy. We're going to have a lot of uh, a traffic. Lot of interruptions. A lot of traffic yeah. going on. It is right now. Wow, but... it's peak hour. Yeah, yeah, the flights are going yep, out. Yep. And we're right in the heart of it. We're right here. Yeah. So we're at Flushing Meadows. Yes, sir. Good day to you, sir. Good day to you. TGIF. Yeah, right? thank God it's Friday. For, for real. real. Oh, man. It was a nice week, though. Yeah, I had a good week. It was a nice week. week. We had a good well. week. We went to the gates. Now we're here at the park chilling. Yeah. We had a good, cool. a good, uh, a good conversa phone call conversation with some good people. Oh, man. That was really, truly inspiring, man. Word. We got a lot of cool things lined up. So we're just getting things warmed up. And uh, I want to start at it's the top. Starting, it's just starting, bro. Let's start at the top. It's just starting. You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because that's how things work, you know? If you want to excel, you got to go back to the basics. Exactly. Exactly. You got to go to the basics. You have to master. You have to learn how to walk before you run. Right? And, and a lot of people... Because nobody, nobody is doing the basics and videos. Everybody's doing the tricks and watch me do this and watch me do that. But when you start, you have to start with the basics. For sure. Here it is, right? Because uh, there's, there's definitely a physics involved in flying a multi-rotor, you know? Yeah, for sure. The, the multi-rotor basically has three principles it flies under, which is pitch, roll, and yaw. Okay, those are the three movements that the quad does. And it's very important to understand that so you understand what the quad is doing and how to do this, hmm. right? Because you might not know. You know that you move this stick and the thing goes, but you don't know it's called yaw, or you know that if you bang it this way, it, it's going it to roll. It's it, 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 flip. It, 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 yeah, it turns in mm -hmm. that direction, yeah. but the technical term is right. roll. I get what you're saying and I see what you're trying to do. This is for those who don't exactly know about the 360 degrees access exactly. terms. The terms of the 300 degrees access, forward and backward. So we go, we're going to talk about the things that are necessary mm -hmm. when these planes pass by because <laughs> it's going to be a concept. But that's fun, though, because this is live. This is the way things are. And you know? this is New York, baby. This is New York. There's a, a constant flow of traffic Absolutely. in the air. And, There's an energy the that doesn't stop doesn't stop For that's sure. why new yorkers don't do well outside of new york because quiet still life after a while we're like yo where's that ambulance um yeah where? i need a little vroom vroom I yeah need something. where's something i need some cars hot tires peeling out a gunshot some races a some, gunshot something something, something. <laughs> so the basic principles pitch roll and yaw right pitch is the uh movement on the lateral so front and back, right? The nose goes up and down. That's pitch. Then you have roll, which is it moves on its longitudinal, which is the banking of the wings, left and right. And finally, and last but not least, yeah. yaw, which is the spinning of the quad, right? So it's the X, Y, Z uh, axis, yep. right? And they yes, spin sir. 360 degrees. So what that means is now when you go look at your rates, mm -hmm. right? And you see the rotation, my rotation for pitch is around 950. That means that in one second, it's going to go 950 degrees, which would be if 360 is one, mm -hmm. it's three, two and a half times is going to do it. Exactly. Which is incredibly fast if you think about it. And it goes for all the other ones, right? Roll, pitch, yaw, whatever your rotation is. So now when you think about it, you're like, well, 900 is really fast. Mm -hmm. You also have to think about, for example, the combinations mm. of rate to expo and rate to super rate and things right. like that, because you have a low rate means you have a high sense a low sensitivity in the middle and then the expo the uh, super is making you multiply that so for for me for, in order to achieve the snap at the roll i have a lower rate and a higher super rate because i like the control i have while i'm straight and level and cruising but when i need to make those aggressive turns it snaps right yes sir. racers for example if you look at a racer freestyle like vanover he doesn't really have snaps everything is butter <laughs> You know, it's all butter. Yeah. The freestyler has that snap, that, uh, that you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's what that super gives you, you yeah, know? Stop on a turn, man. Exactly. And that's a lot of information for those who don't know. This is not made to teach you how to fly. Right. This is to give you tips 
so you could understand and then go because I understand that when you're new the keywords you have no idea what anything is you don't know what a VTX is you don't know what a, a receiver is you think the receiver is the the, uh, the remote and it's called a radio right. so these are things that at first you don't know so what we're doing is we're making it a little bit easier for you to understand this and be like, oh, shit, it's called a VTX. Let me go search for this. You know, I'm not going to explain to you how it works, because now that you know it's a VTX, you can just go to Joshua Bardwell and type in VTX and he'll teach yeah, you sure. everything you yeah. want to know. Me and Manny are not about that. We're about just having a conversation and we are sharing information Thank as you. towards our experience with uh, flying with these quads. Exactly, Ab exactly, that exactly. So with the pitch, roll, yaw being one of the basic flight techniques, another one you need to understand is throttle control. That's so important because that's the next step in to understanding what it is you're doing. Exactly, let me give you a perfect il illustration with my hand of what throttle control means. Yeah. So if, if you're having problems coming off a dive and leveling out and going and this is happening to you, that's throttle control, okay? That's that Not having throttle control. Not having throttle control, yes. exactly. What you need to do for that case, what I would do is throw in throttle expo or a curve in your tango or whatever your remote is, throw a curve in there. And that will give you more breathing room at those low ranges. It, it like opens it up. So if it's linear, if it's linear, no, this way, linear, then it does this. Yeah. So that way it gives you in the 30 to 50% throttle range it instead of being from one to ten yeah. it becomes one to thirty you know yeah, and it sure. gives you more range to like no I absolutely understand you you just don't you don't start bouncing you actually you flatten out and you you continue to go boom and, now yeah. it's also needs to be said because give props and props what deserves there are pilots like Gino yeah he doesn't need that shit. No, I, I'm, I'm his gonna... his fine movements mm -hmm. are so like good that he never needed expo. You know, like he's just he's very fine. He was always really good in playing video games and kicking my <laughs> ass in fucking PlayStation. Shout out to El Buo because always. he he um we just spoke about this about the same thing we're talking about. Oh right shit! Now, okay, I swear, just a couple sessions ago, and um uh, he was sharing information about that that curve on the tango, how mm -hmm. important that is, especially for throttle control. He was yep. giving me some pointers, and I I respect you. Thank you so much for. Uh, assisting me in that as well. That example I just gave of, that's what happened to me. I couldn't figure out why I couldn't nail. And it was just, I was moving too much and I couldn't get it down to where I wanted it. Yeah. So the curve made it, boom, lock, yeah. you know? Super fresh, super yeah. fresh. Now it goes to say the curve is not just gonna make that happen all of a sudden. It's a combination of that and you putting in the time. Yeah, stick time. To understand the curve. Just because you do the curve. It's like people, <laughs> we could have this conversation another day, real steady and hyper smooth. It doesn't make you a good pilot. It just smooths out shit that, you know, little imperfections in your in your tune. That's what it does. Yeah. But you're still fucking, if you can't do a power loop, hyper smooth is not going to make you do that. Mm, good call. Good call, man. Throttle control, power loops. That's a great practice right there. Yep. Exactly. Oh, when I, that is the first trick I wanted to learn when I started flying. Shit. Remember the power go, loop. Go back to the story when you try to power loop the DJI. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There you go. Point in case. Right. Yep. Exactly. I wanted to power loop the DJI. It didn't happen. Didn't happen. They didn't happen. I, sh I, I don't think I have fit footage of that. It'd be cool to put it on. Right? Like, yeah. <laughs> but, ba, 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 ba. It, oh. it, no, there was no ba, 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 ba. That shit just to the ground. That's it. It was done. <laughs> I had to change. I had to buy another one and re I had backup parts. So the power loop is uh, one of my favorite tricks. I think it's one of the, in my opinion, one of the most important tricks in your arsenal. The you important know? basic. Important basic important trick in your basic. arsenal. It has to be. If you can't power loop, then you need to go practice how to power loop. Got to go. Know? And for those of you who don't know, it's just like a loop in an airplane, but it's with power to fling you back because at the top of your crest. of your crest, you have to power up. So it sends you that way. There's no like momentum that's going to do that for you, you know? And that's where the power loop gets tricky, mm -hmm. learning where that is. Because remember, it's not when you're looking straight up. Because when you're looking straight up, your camera is already looking back. Right. So you have to understand, okay, if I'm 20 degrees nose up the camera, then I have to be 20 degrees a little bit before I power up. Otherwise, you're just climbing. You're, you're touching into awareness. Absolutely, bro. Uh -huh. Awareness, understanding your quad. You got to understand these relations in your head. Yeah. And uh, these things will make you a much better pilot in a lot shorter time if you follow these principles. Amen. These are basic principles. Oh, basic. 
you know? Give me another. Give me another one. Well, uh, look, we? another one that I loved, and and I love these moves because these are things you do in an airplane, yeah. you know. And I don't know if I ever told what? you, but I wanted to be an acrobatic pilot. I didn't okay. want to be a commercial pilot. Like I wanted to be. I really wanted to be an, a, a fighter guy, pilot, but guy. at that point Who in my life, Sorry. Sorry. Top Gun, right. Maverick, Man, that was me, wanna, bro. Yeah, hey, get uh, all day, all day. Sure. That's my, one of my inspirations. Go ahead. But I went the commercial route because in that time it was hard. You know, there's no guarantee you're going to be a fighter pilot. You got to be the best of the best. And, right. and I probably could have, but I didn't. It wasn't me at that time, you know, I, so I went commercial. So when I got into the drones, the first thing I already I, I have looped airplanes as a student like that I've done, but I never split S's are very type maneuvers that can't be done in just any airplane you know so those are the two maneuvers that i wanted to learn right away immediately immediately and you start with the big power loop you know you climb like crazy and then you don't understand why you're not going for far enough yeah. and you're landing right on top of the obstacle right for me it was always trees i was always trying to power loop trees yeah. so it takes a little bit to understand the relationship of where your nose is where you're powering but understand that it's a power move that's why it's a power loop so you have to get momentum to fling you back you, you know, know when you power loop and there's sometimes when you do power loop oh it has happened to all the experienced pilots as well this has definitely happened to all the experienced pilots but for the new pilots who are just tuning in when you when you try to rescue out of a power loop and you decide to roll out that's called an emelman yeah that right there is not only a basic uh it's definitely a basic power move but you need that that fundamental as mm -hmm. well so it's like half power loop and turn around just to see where you're at, man, and level yourself up. Yep. That, that's a great recovery, too, because it, it's important. These recoveries are super duper important. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, I made a video once. What's better, a good trick or a great recovery? Ooh. Right? Because that particular I, day I had I had that right now. recovery after recovery after recovery after recovery. And it was just like I wasn't getting the trick, but I was not crashing either. Pound. I like that. All right. I get it. You know, yeah, it all, sure. it, it, it's with anything in life. And this goes for life. If you want to be good at something, you got to put the time in. If you want to be great at something, you got to put even more time in. If you want to be the best at something, you got to put the most time in. What was your first trick? My first trick, man. Oh, my first trick. It, you know, I can't remember off the, off the rip, but I the, the flips, just flipping. I think flipping, flipping anything up. Flipping forward, rolling to the right, um, flipping backwards. Oh, the first thing I ever put on video was, and if you go back, man, to my, my, my younger stuff, I tried to do, when I came back from Florida, I was attempting, um, when I was staying out in Long Island, the uh, yaw over something, the inverted yaw spin okay. over something. Oh, wow. So that's that was uh -huh. the one that I wanted to learn because, you know, the flips and stuff like that just comes naturally with you just attempting to fly. You try to recover. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And there you go, flipping to the right, flipping to the left, flip, you know, just to get yourself back to where you were because I remember doing that a lot in my very beginning. But for me, was the inverted yaw spin, brother. And that's a very difficult trick. Yeah, and I got it. It's on film. You see me. Nice. I, I crash a couple times, man. But if you go to the video, yeah, we'll definitely put the link down yeah, there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that was that was the one for me. Nice, man. And let me, you know, I'm glad you said that because uh, being inverted is also a basic principle of, of flying FPV that yeah. we forgot to mention. And uh, when I started trying to go inverted for the yeah. inverted yaw spin, right. uh, I watched the Bardwell video, and Bardwell said you're not just gonna be able to go up there and all of a sudden do it and be consistent at it. You have to practice uh, spending time inverted because mm -hmm. you have to understand how much time you have from the moment you do it, how fast you're dropping to the ground, how much you have to hit the stick to like figure out where you're gonna land. Because if you try to do it inverted and you don't hit it flat and you do it like this, when you yaw, it's not a good yaw. You're gonna yaw, you, the inverted yaw spin is perfect. Yeah and you invert like that. Yeah. So in order to do that, you have to practice that. It's not something that it's just gonna happen while you're flowing Absolutely. through the park. Absolutely. So spend time inverted, as much time as you can. Understand the relationship of your quad being inverted to what you're seeing, how long it takes you to get down. Because most of us are very uh, fast with the movements and you don't have patience. And when you have patience, the tricks just look so much yeah, juicier yeah. because you're, you're getting closer and you're, you're, you're landing closer to the ground and you're getting, and that just comes with patience. And, and, I, and I fail to this all the time too because I, like, I play it safe. I don't want to crash. I don't want to fix shit. But there's <laughs> moments that 
I'm like, fuck it, in let's proximity, go. proximity, man. That, bro, it's just, I'm feeling it because I hit two, three tricks in a row. Yeah. I lined up four or five trees and now I'm feeling it. So now I start pushing it. But if I don't get to that mindset, yeah. I'm just cruising. I'm just cruising over the park, split ass over here, power loop over there. It takes a little bit of something in my flight to get me going. Because if not, I just, that's the days that you see me three packs out. Yeah. Those are the days that it didn't happen. Yeah, you need time. Yeah. You got to practice. You got to slow your way man yep. like that first that first pack that cruise pack yep. the second pack is to explore the third pack is you start to get comfortable now from four and on you should be ready to go you know i want to tap into what you said because um being inverted helped me a lot with my flying i just used to huck myself upside down to see mm -hmm. how long and how much time i had for recovery yeah you have to that's the only way yeah because yeah. otherwise it's all a mystery you know a lot of yeah yeah hey, looking around looking around where am i going all right let's yep. go straight. understanding the yo you go a little bit you come yeah. back yeah man. fixing it yeah little, exactly little corrections when you start hitting your tricks on axis and what i mean by that is flat yeah pow, pow. You, know, pow, you pow. mean it when, when yeah you when mean you mean it. it not if you end up if you end up like this and correct it then mm. you know and it looks good then it's flow but there's people like bop bop pow. like steel yeah bop bop g is also very good at that bop just landing on axis very good so but much. that's when your tricks, so all of a sudden, that inverted yaw spin looks insane. Yeah, you're locked. You're locked. That juicy flick just looks crazy because you hit it, you know? Yeah. Oh, so fresh, yeah. man. Super dope. Yeah. Let me, let me ask you a question, man. Since we're, we're, we're moving forward um, in the conversation of, of progression of this, because you got to go basics. You got to learn the, mm -hmm. the ABCs, right? Um, do you prefer, because I didn't, I didn't start in level mode, you know? Okay. I started I started straight off acro. I was okay. just what level versus acro mode, man. What's the Um well I mean if you want to be a freestyle pilot, you're not gonna fly in, in uh level. But you if know? you want if you're learning, because there's a couple pilots out there that I know definitely still fly on level, you know, just learning the quad still. You know At what I'm first saying? I think it's a great tool. Uh, level because it doesn't allow you if you go straight to acro you have no idea you're going right into a wall to the floor <laughs> like it's it's happening right away it, yeah. for you guys that start with a three inch or a five inch and then go to a tiny whoop watch how fast you go into a wall because it's just that bah, boom immediately uh, uh -huh. so level mm. for those situations i think is great you know i think it's great for example there's many many cinematic pilots that fly whoops in level mm. tiny whoop racers they race in level mm. it's just certain things that are really? i didn't know that yeah i didn't either but yes from what i gather from what i've been told from everybody's locked multiple up. there's more level racers than non-level than acro racers because it just they say that you hit something and it, it corrects itself and you keep going right rather than on acro you'll flip over or whatever yeah. it is so <laughs> if, if you're watching this and you're like damn i don't know the difference what level or stabilized means is when you bank the quad, it's not going to go roll over. It's going to stay at whatever degrees it's programmed to. If I'm not mistaken, beta flight comes with like 55 degrees. So it's going to give you a nice bank. But when you let go of that stick, it's going back to level. Acro, when you let go of that stick, it's going to keep going. It's not. <laughs> Bye. <Yeah. laughs> with, with your with your radio on one hand, goggles flying off and shit. <laughs> it's happened to you. Absolutely. <laughs> We're speaking from experience. For sure. This is shit that I've seen. For sure. I'll tell you one. Go ahead. I'm yeah. flying. I'm, this is. I'm still line of sight, but I'm already acro. So I'm probably like two weeks in. I have been going on the goggles, but I'm still like whoa, okay. whoa. So I'm I'm line of sight and I'm. Rolling, ding, ding, roll the other way, fall, flip, flip back, and I'm going. And I'm getting nice at it. I'm getting cocky because I'm going like, woo, and do, you know? And then I'm like, I want to do a long one. I want to do a high one so I could do two or three rolls in this time. Yeah, it was really high. Right into the lake. Oh, <laughs> over there, over there, oh. over there, over there. Right into the lake, bro. Oh. So I saw it, and Perfect. I just I just went throttle up, and, and like I lost it. It went that way something to understand if your quad is not tuned and you throttle up it's really prone to going in whatever direction it wants to go because one motor will power up faster and it'll go one way you know yeah. the tuning helps the quad be stable and it'll go in the direction that it is so i see it and it's like <laughs> so i'm goes. trying to bring it back like because i have no idea what direction the quad is facing so i tell myself in my head all right i'm gonna do one more move mm -hmm. if it doesn't come back then i'm disarming and it's over i did one more move 
it got even further and bloop. Oh man. Yeah, I was like two uh, weeks and that was a, a unibody five inch. But yeah, uh, you these know, things happen. These they things happen. Ha they have happened yes. and we're speaking from experience. We're not the end all be all. Mm -hmm. We're just no, trying to, no. you know, share some information, man. Just pass on the knowledge, bro. Yeah, share That's our experiences. It. Our experiences. For and if sure. our experiences could help you, like then we're this is this is why we're doing it. Yeah, man. To, to help out the community and get this information out there because it needs to be out there. And while there's plenty of videos teaching you on YouTube, there's very few talking to you. I hope that you feel like you're chilling with us here at the park. Yeah, because seat, and you're all welcome. You don't need it. I mean, you kind of need an invitation so we could coordinate, but you don't need an invitation. If yeah. you are like, yo, I want to chill with you guys, we'll try and make it happen. Yeah, for sure. You know, because yeah, everybody's absolutely. welcome, man. Yeah, this is, there's always an empty seat here for whoever wants to be here. Yeah. You know what? We like to take these moments to like slow things down because when we're out in the field, like myself, I speak from experience because when we're out there, you're excited. You know, you got the gang going and you rush, 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 rush. And when you rush, bad things tend to happen. You know, so I'd like to I'd like to also reinforce the message to the public, man. Take your time. Take your time when you're out there. You know, also practice like you're doing this for real. Like if you're trying to get work from this, if you're trying to make this a profession while you're out there in the field practicing, practice like you're playing for real. Yeah, 100 percent. This is this is this is not a game. It might look like a game, but it's not. If you'll probably see all the people walking around us now mind you we're not flying right now right. but we're never at empty parks ever there's always people small moments where it is empty but you know we're flying then yeah. and then when they start coming we this is when choose we yeah. an empty spot in the park right right where people like I'm, I'm not saying people don't walk around but we're in a place where we'll be fine to fly you know but there's people everywhere so you got to be aware you gotta that that's why i'm going to bring it back one more time the importance of the first pack, slow cruise. Just take your time, see what's out there. See, if it's happened to me, and I'll repeat it again, at Highland, after a very strong windstorm, yeah. where I went back and a bunch of branches had fallen down, broken trees, broken limbs, mm. and now all of a sudden, gaps that existed didn't exist anymore, right? Right. right. Or, for, I'm sure it happened to you, the first time that you went back after they put the fences up. Oh, yeah. That fence wasn't there. No. When I saw it for the first time, I almost crashed right into that fence. <laughs> right, right. You didn't know it was there. I didn't know it was there. Right. It happens. We did, actually. You got it on film. You were, like, sideways. Yes. It's on one of the episodes, yep. I think. Yep. For sure. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, it's, it's, you have to first pack, slow cruise, see what's out there, man. Just because you were there last night doesn't mean things have changed. Plus, give your fingers yeah. a second. Your yeah. fingers. Yeah. I got blisters on me fingers. Yeah. No, Achoo. but for real, I, you know, let's slow it down for a second, you know. Watch your surroundings. I mean, we ain't trying to tell you what to do. I ain't trying to tell nobody what to do. Not the beginning and the end here. It's just a matter of sharing some information that's helping us uh, grow. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's just information. It's just opinions we're passing on. Because it's one thing to be smart and know books. It's another thing to have life experience, yeah. you know? And you could be very knowledgeable without knowing a goddamn thing of the books. And you could be very stupid and have a Harvard degree. <laughs> I've seen them. I know them. You know what I'm saying? So when you have experience and, and you have taken this seriously, like we have, it's things that I, wanna, I, want, I want people to know so we could keep this going forever. For because sure. this is a beautiful thing that For we do. Sure. You know? We're trying to share we get with to be birds. We literally get to be birds. Absolutely. We get to saw the friendly skies, man. And that's why we're sharing this with the tribe to say, oh, yeah, to all our pilots and pirates. Anybody that tuned in and stopped by to say hi, we thank you so much, man. Peace. This one's for you. Hell yeah. Thank you, y'all.